so we are going to learn the deletion of a node uh, from a b tree so um, we have to follow different procedures for this uh, so first uh, locate the leaf node so if there are more than m divided by two keys in the leaf node then we have to delete the decide key from the node that means if there are sufficient number of uh, keys as per the b tree principle if it is there then you can directly delete the key if the leaf node doesn't contain m divided by two keys then complete the keys by taking the element from the right or left sibling that means if there is no sufficient number of keys and you want to delete the node then you will borrow a key from the left or the right sibling if the left sibling contains more than the sufficient number of keys you will push its largest element up to its parent and move the intervening element down to the node so that is the process you will push the borrowed key as a parent and the middle element down if the right sibling contains more than the uh, number of um, uh, minimum keys then you will push the smallest element as the parent and move the intervening element down where the key is deleted if neither the sibling has sufficient number of keys then you have to create a new leaf node by joining the two leaf nodes by joining it and then the intervening element is going to be the parent node if the parent is left with less than the sufficient number of keys you apply the same process above stated above for the parent node too if the node which has to be deleted is an internal node then replace the node with its n order successor or predecessor since successor or predecessor will always be on the leaf node the process will be similar to the node being deleted from the leaf node so we will see this using an example so suppose you consider this is the tree and you want to and delete element 20 53 89 90 and 85 and the minimum number of keys that a particular node must have is 2 maximum number of keys is allowed is 4 minimum children is 3 and maximum children is 5 so the order is 5 here okay so let's see how it is done so first one i want to delete the node 20 so as you can see i want to delete the node 20 so you can see 20 is in the leaf node and this particular node contains a sufficient number of keys so you can directly delete 20 from there so the next step you can see 20 has been deleted okay so that is how it works so minimum number of keys is 2 here the minimum number the number of keys found is 3 so it satisfies the rule so you can directly delete 20 going to the next if i want to delete 53 now you can see 53 is here and this particular node contains only two values so it if you delete 53 it will not uh, so satisfy the property of a b tree so henceforth you have to borrow a node from the left or the right sibling since there is no right sibling you will borrow a node from the left sibling so the left sibling as you can see it is 32 43 49 it contains three values it can that means it satisfies the minimum criteria rule so you can borrow the largest element that is 49 so 49 is going to be borrowed so 49 goes to the parent node and becomes the parent node and the intervening 50 is going to come uh, in place of 53 so that is what they say so 49 is going to go on top and 50 is going to come down in place of 53 okay so you can see that so now 53 so you can see that 49 goes down and 50 when brought down 53 can be deleted easily okay so now next step is if i want to delete uh, the node okay and the next step is if i want to delete the node 90 
3. So you can see 93 is located here and uh, this particular key Okay, one second. Mm, next node to be deleted is 89. Okay, so I have to delete 89 and you can see this particular node contains, uh, doesn't satisfy the number of minimum elements. So if I have to delete 89, I have to borrow from the left or the right sibling. So you can see the right sibling has sufficient number of nodes. So I borrow 93, which is the smallest element over there. So when you borrow it, 93 goes as a parent and 90 comes down in place of 89 so you can see 93 went as a parent here and 1890 came down and 89 can be directly deleted so that's how it works okay so you can see it is done now the next key to be deleted is 90 now when you see here if a Again, this particular node doesn't satisfy the minimum criteria. So if you want to borrow from left sibling or the right sibling, you see both the nodes don't satisfy the minimum criteria. So what you do is you create a new node and you merge the nodes together. So you can see that you merge the nodes together. You're going to merge 87, 90, 96 and 115 together by pulling 93 down so you can see here all a new node is created with all the nodes brought together hence you can forth you can delete the node 90 and uh, when you pull it when you pull it here what happens the parent node becomes 85 and 120 and this node becomes 87 93 96 and 115 as you can see here so next node i want to delete is 85 so when i delete 85 here the minimum criteria is not followed so i bring this down and the in order successor 87 becomes in the place of the parent and when 85 is brought down i can delete it safely so since it is going to satisfy the minimum criteria here so what is done here the 87 which is the in order successor comes in place of 85 85 is brought to the leaf node and you can see here 84 to 84, 85, 85 can be deleted easily. Okay, so that's how uh, 85 is getting deleted from the internal node. Okay, so that is the of how you delete a node from a B tree. So we have seen different options here. Uh, based on the cases so the the main important thing is you have to follow this minimum criteria